Well, today, Pfizer briefed government officials about the potential need for a booster shot. Right now, the company is hard at work developing a version of the COVID vaccine that targets Delta, a highly contagious variant that has spread to nearly 100 countries. The news comes as new studies show vaccine efficacy may decline six months after immunization, meaning a booster dose may be needed to fed, uh, fend off virus variants. Meantime, Michigan is still falling short of reaching herd immunity, which will take 70% of residents getting vaccinated. However, we are inching closer every day. The state updated the vaccine dashboard for the first time in several days with more than 93,000 new shots put into arms. The total administered now over 9.1 million. The first dose tracker bumped up to 62.4% of Michiganders 16 and older. But some Michigan counties are seriously lagging behind the rest. Monroe and Sanilac counties are hovering around a 43% vaccination rate, and Detroit is even lower at 38%. Uh, tonight, our Jennifer Ann Wilson takes an in-depth look at the research. And what experts are saying about the potential need to armor up again. One expert I spoke with says the purpose of vaccines isn't to completely eradicate a virus or disease. And in his opinion, a booster just isn't a priority right now. This week marks seven months since the first American outside of a trial got a COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> Now people are maskless, venues are at capacity, life in Michigan almost feels normal again, but the virus is changing. The CDC announced that the Delta variant is over 50% of uh, the cases that we're seeing in the U.S., and that's bad news. Delta's sort of been a game changer. Uh, you know what it, it did in India? It, it, it devastated the country. Their health system collapsed under it. Um, you know, people were dying in parking lots, dying when their oxygen ran out. I mean, it was terrible. The more contagious Delta variant has now entered Michigan. So how worried should we be? Dr. Anu Milani, Infection Prevention Medical Director at St. Joseph Mercy Health System, weighs in. We are seeing some localized outbreaks in communities and areas that have low vaccine rates. As of July 9th, 54 people in Michigan have been diagnosed with the Delta variant, according to the state health department. For perspective, let's take a look at the larger sample, a four-week stretch in Michigan ending June 22nd. More than 90% of specimens were alpha. Less than half a percent were beta. A little more than 2% were epsilon, another 2% gamma. Less than 1% were delta. We know with the variants, there's less room for error. So we actually, for those that need to undergo two vaccines, we want to make sure that they get their second dose. But what about a third dose? Today, Pfizer spoke before government officials about its booster vaccine, hoping for emergency use authorization, claiming the third shot could increase antibodies up to 10 times more than the second. Last week, the FDA and CDC said a vaccine booster isn't needed right now. Some experts agree. We want to make sure that um, science guides our decisions. It would be nice to have work done on this looking at, for example, how well somebody who does get boosted uh, is protected versus somebody who is not boosted. That information would be useful. Even then, epidemiologist Arnold Monto says leaders aren't all on the same page. What is going on here is a question of what the policy is and what the goals of vaccination are. Is the goal to eliminate COVID-19 like smallpox or just reduce risk of severe illness and death like the goal of a flu vaccine? It would be far better right now to get a larger proportion of our population vaccinated, which will give them very good protection. According to state COVID modeling data, more than 99% of people hospitalized for COVID-19 like symptoms were not fully vaccinated. From January to mid-June of this year, of more than 50,000 hospitalizations, just 447 hospitalizations were people who were fully vaccinated two weeks from their final dose. Less than half of Michigan's eligible population right now is fully vaccinated, and the rate has plateaued. There was some implication in what Pfizer said that they're seeing the actual level of antibody drop off, but I haven't seen that published anywhere. With flu in a good year, we're 50 to 60% effective, and yet we prevent a lot of 
morbidity, illness, and, and deaths with our current flu vaccines. Similar to the flu, the COVID-19 virus mutates. As of June 22nd, Michigan has identified a whopping 12,491 COVID-19 variants. Delta is one of the newest and strongest. We're going to be able to cut down on transmission and production of variants, the development of variants, if we get more of the population vaccinated. Experts say we will need a booster eventually, so it's a good thing that these companies are working on them. But for now, getting that first dose is much more important. We've got more information on our website at WXYZ.com. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. And for a look at the latest research surrounding the possible need for a booster shot or to find a place to get your first vaccine dose, head to WXYZ.com. All right.